on the World Cafe. It's time for another one of our famed backstage visits, and we're uh, we're talking with kind of a surprise Bob Weir backstage at the uh, Weir and Wasserman show here in Philadelphia. We didn't expect to be talking to you, but you got a second before meal time. And uh, tell me about this tour. Uh, what was the origin of you playing with Rob to begin with? Um, about three years ago, a friend of ours who runs a a nightclub in Mill Valley where we both live was doing a benefit for the Mill Valley Film Festival. Mm. Wanted to uh, put together a, an evening of uh, Rob Wasserman and friends. And that was just when Rob had put out his duets record. And it was getting some critical acclaim and selling well and all that kind of stuff. And I had never heard of him. And she, none, nonetheless, she called me up and, and asked me if I wouldn't uh, do this, and I said I probably would, but uh, I was real busy, so I'll, I'll probably just, I don't know what, I'll, I'll sneak in and listen to him or something. And she gave me this uh, CD of his duets record, and I uh, popped it on and I was transfixed. And so uh, I got down there real quick, and we practiced about, nobody else showed up because everybody was on the road at that particular time. Everybody from the disc? Or just other friends of his? Just all, all his friends. Yeah, yeah. And so we rehearsed for, I guess, oh, 20 minutes or so, and then we played for two hours and had a great deal of fun and decided it was probably worth pursuing. And your material is, is as, uh, as seat of the pants as it was that first night? Or? Oh, yeah. Well, not really. I mean, some of it's fairly polished. And, you know, I, we're learning some more difficult songs over the course of the years. What's, what's an example of a more difficult song? Well, m most of the tunes that I write tend to have a lot of chord changes and True. complexity. Are you, are you doing a lot of your your songs? Or, mm -hmm. Oh, great. Right. Well, we're doing stuff from that I've been writing all through the years. From back, we do one tune from my, my first solo record, the Ace record, mm -hmm. and then stuff from Heaven Help the Fool, the Midnight's Projects, and other stuff, too, that I've been doing all along. That, may or may not have made it onto record. <laughs>
this all the time is, is there going to be another Bob Weir solo record at some point um well my current plan is to do a record with Rob so is he going to put aside the uh, trios or this will be no I think he's going to finish that first right was there any thought to add any other players to the tour anybody else that you well we've been playing with uh Bruce Coburn and Michelle on this tour uh toward the end of the show we'll generally do a couple numbers or whatever and that's been kind of fun uh, somebody once suggested that we had a percussionist, and that might be fun. But for we'll now, see. you're pretty happy with this. Yeah. Well, Thank great. And it's working just fine. And then the dead are going out again in the fall? End of, that, end of August and into September. You ever spend any time at home? Not a whole hell of a lot. <laughs> well, great. Thanks for taking a moment out. You bet. Seven weeks now, too hard to even speak now. Did you hear what I just heard? Say it might have been the fiddle, or it could have been the wind. But there seems to be a beat now, I can feel it in my feet now. Listen here, it comes again. The band kept us so busy We forgot about the time They're a band beyond description Like Jehovah's favorite choir People join in hand in hand While the music plays the band Lord, they're setting us on fire Crazy rooster crowing midnight Balls of lightning roll along Old men sing about their dreams Women laugh and children scream And the band keeps playing on
Come on, children, come on, clap your hands. Well, the cool breeze came on Tuesday, and the corn's a bumper crop. Music never stop. Grateful Dead from Blues for Allah. Thanks to uh, Bob Weir for s- sort of unexpectedly stopping by to talk to us. We went to uh, talk to Rob Wasserman, and Bob had a few minutes, and it was really great to uh, spend some time with him. Stay with us, because just a moment, we will be talking with bassist Rob Wasserman here on the World Cafe. We're back on the World Cafe, and we're uh, once again backstage at the Man Music Center in Philadelphia. Rob Wasserman is in town with uh, Bob Weir. I guess it's your third time out together, isn't it? Uh, we've been touring for all, uh, three and a half years. It's our third shed tour, oh, okay. summer shed tour. And uh, Bobby was telling us how you, how you came together on 20 minutes rehearsal time, first time around. Uh-huh. Is it easy for you to, all these artists that you seem to be, uh, you've accompanied on the duets album, is it easy mm-hmm. for you to just get simpatico with them really quickly? Well, every, it... everyone's different, you know. I. Um, can't really generalize, mm-hmm. but um, I think that pretty much everyone on duets and trios are people that have um, clicked and I've had some chemistry with. And I guess some of it's luck, some of it's just you know me having a feeling about certain artists and them. And also, it's also based on enthusiasm and then li- them liking my concepts, my album concepts. And I guess I've been lucky because. Um...